Venom the Last Dance. Tom Hardy brings the third Venom, third and final installment in the Venom franchise. Final. I mean, whatever. Again, the, the, the kinds of movies that should have been made in the 90s. Like, these are the Venom movies that we probably would have gotten in the 90s. Uh, is it a great movie? No. Is it partially enjoyable? Yeah, partially. It's a fun uh, movie. Uh, yeah. It's kind of coherent. I think the third act is a lot more fun. Uh, I will say the movie I enjoyed. Okay, Before we get into that, what else? Okay. The movie starts off brings us back to literally it, it is it, it it is kind of tied to the ending of no way home uh but it kind of it retcons the ending or, or at least eddie brock's ending in no way home it changes the the way that story ends it but almost if may i it uh -huh, almost feels like it nolan voids it oh oh uh, no uh but it but it does it does it does change that i'm proud of myself but it, but it uh what it what it does is it changes it changes the story and it picks up where Eddie Brock is now being hunted by the government by this a secret a secret agency and now the father or the creator of the symbiotes Null right damn to Area Null, 51 Null is in search of this codex this codex that allows him to be released I was from his was prison mm. this codex that allows him to be released from his prison and once he's released from his prison he wants to take over the universe blah 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 same old same old null played by andy circus who's in the movie maybe two minutes tops a villain that looks like a playstation xbox i was intro. gonna say definitely yeah. 90s graphics yeah definitely or, looks like or one he's, of got, he's got a, like a, a, a video of something that they wanted to promote at some point and just said let's just put a venom costume on him hey this could have been part of the, the spider-man video game let's just put it in here instead that's yeah. what it felt like let's just put Long it in this movie face, like weird yeah. like a final fantasy look no it gave me like i don't know like, if you remember legacy of kane Ooh, that's sort of reminded mm. me of like the legacy of kane go back Throwback. and go back kids Go back, kids. Watch Throw it. Um, that's what it reminded me of. A hey, good-looking Castlevania right there. But mm. I, I am going to say Tom Hardy still really good in this role. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed it. I just didn't like. It's hard I to enjoyed hate. The be I enjoyed the beginning. I didn't like the middle. I enjoyed the, the final act. Mm. I enjoyed the final act with all the symbiotes. Um, with all the action, if the movie would have been a lot more of that with the final act, I think it would have been a lot, a lot more fun. It would have been, it, it'd have been fun. Uh, it would have been a better, a better experience. It's not mm -hmm. long. So no. that little, that middle part is not like overbearing. Yeah. It didn't, it's it didn't 90, it's a 90 minute movie. It yeah. is a 90 minute movie. Mm -hmm. It is short. It is definitely that, and that's short. only if you stay for the credits. And it yeah. and it it does it does breeze by very quick. It is a road trip movie. That's yeah. what that's that's what this movie is. It's a I mean, road kinda, trip movie. It kind of like it's, it ends up starting to be like that, but then it just stops. It stops real quick. The road trip stops real quick. He's basically it's, the it, same area for like five, you know, like the whole it's, movie. It starts in Mexico and ends in Las Vegas. Yeah, I mean, don't most trips. Do that's that? a short road. It's a short road trip. That's all it is. It's a but it <laughs> I mean, is a road trip. It's, yeah. He's we, we want to go to New York. He we'll goes, yeah, the, the whole point is he's trying, he wants to see the Statue of Liberty, right? It's like, and you know where this is going to go uh, by the end of the, by the end of this movie. They tell you in the Actually, movie. Actually, I, I didn't know where it was going to go when uh, he met up with Miss Chang, because oh, Miss Chang was out of control. Bro, oh, she, yeah. was, she was looking to smash. Yeah. She was, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, 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 I'm going to get some but of that did, venom. Insatiable. Yeah, she, 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 didn't, she didn't want, she didn't want, uh, Eddie, she, didn't, she didn't want Eddie Brock. For sure, she don't want Eddie Brock. <laughs> she saw that tongue. She, she wanted to get infected. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to get null and voided. Yeah. <laughs> Tell your daddy I said hi. <laughs> Tell your fine daddy I said hi. She'll, she'll take that parasite. Oh. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, get it. Hey, what? what are you talking about? You guys are pigs. Uh, yeah, no, that, off, whole that whole dance sequence. 
that whole dance sequence uh She's yeah good too. i don't know that whole dance sequence was okay interesting i <laughs> yeah part of it part yeah, of it was like when did you guys practice yeah that? <laughs> that's 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 the that's the part that i found funny is like when did you guys find the time to practice this uh the little quips they had in the middle like part of the movie i some of some of them hit some of them were funny uh mm -hmm. what i am what i what I will say about the final act, though, is when I don't know, Ozzy, if you remember when we were younger, when we were kids and you, you had the Venom toy, when when he was when they had all these different symbiotes, uh, one of them reminded me of those Venom toys, right? The different symbiotes, the one with the different heads. When that came out, I was like, oh, you know, I remember all those different toys. It just brought me back to that. Mm. Uh, I, I enjoyed all. I enjoyed that. And it didn't feel. I will I will say when I when we saw when I saw that all those action sequences and all the fights, it didn't feel like the other two movies where it was just like blobs fighting blobs. Right? Mm -hmm. It felt it looked better. It the fight the sequences when put together, the CG looked better than the first one. Yeah. And almost as good if almost as good as the second one. That's the only thing I liked about the second one is you can actually tell the difference of when they were fighting. But it was still symbiote against symbiote. That's what I like yeah. about this one. It wasn't symbiote against symbiote. It was symbiote against alien against Xeno, xenophage or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I like yeah, that. I like the xenophage. Mm -hmm. I liked how it was now the xenophages when they got b blown up or you know busted into chunks. They put Wait, themselves what are they back Xeno together. Xenophages. Fage. Xenophage. Xenomorphs. Xenophage. Okay. Right. I like. I like those. Yeah. Those. Uh, starship trooper bug looking things yeah, yeah. that's right. what it looked like i was remember like why why is like why does it look like a giant brooch they look like giant <laughs> bugs and you know and i will I saw, say I that saw baby tarantula in the in the lot in, in the wild like yesterday crazy. i i will say that the the other characters in the movie like Z juno temple's character like it felt like her character felt like a throwaway character yeah. Like I didn't really care about her. Uh Chiwetel Ejiofor's character was like a mad character too. I, I thought he was gonna live. I thought they were yeah. gonna try to infect him to help save him at the end and instead of him kill himself. He's gotta yeah, go back he, to the Doctor Strange universe. Yeah, he, he can't he can't be he can't be in this one and that one. The family was uh, throwaway see, too, but, by the way. But see, that's the thing. I don't know where they're gonna go with this because now you have that other the the flash symbiote, the one that goes super fast. You mean Juno Temple? Juno Temple. Juno, Juno Temple's Temple. one, you know. That's that's the well, see, that's, you have now. That's the one thing about this movie I felt. I felt like this movie was more of a, a trying to um you know how you know how TV shows do like introduce characters and give them like some sort of like storyline, but not mm -hmm. really to kind of see if uh if they can gauge the audience's a reaction, maybe do a um spin-off. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. So let's try to do that. Yeah, that's what it kind of felt like. I felt like they introduced her to see if maybe we could do something different, introduce a lady venoms. Yeah, but I like you know which one I, who I liked more the girl with the Christmas tree bro uh, like bro. By the way, that thing that thing was missing the, throughout Sadie. like movies throughout the movie. Like every once in a while, you see her like just walking around, no Christmas tree. Yeah, and but then, I, like, I, and then I, she I, opens the door, she has a Christmas tree. Yeah, but I liked I liked her more than Juno Temple. So. <clears throat> oh yeah, but I like, but she was she was I, mysterious. You didn't see you didn't hear too Clark. much about her. Yeah, I liked I liked that character more, and when she because when she became the symbiote, I, there was more emotion to it. She she First jumped off, in. She symbiote. jumped into the she jumped into the fight more. She was she's like when her symbiote got taken out. Spoilers when her symbiote gets taken out in the movie by the Xenophage, she, she's like, "There's more emotion." Like, no, right? She's like, "No, she didn't want it to go." Um, I felt connected to that. But see, that's the thing. There's no big payoff with Null, and I think that's the big. That's my big issue with this movie is you're introducing Null as this supposed to be this giant, like huge threat in this movie, or somehow it's supposed to be a big threat. Like but there's Thanos no big payoff. Kind of yeah, but there's no payoff at all. No payoff at all. Like not and even a little bit of a step in. Him. Yeah, he, he's just he's just like like some sort of conan ish stance where he's just right mm -hmm. there sitting at his throne i'll be back no you mm. kids and your damn dog it's, it's more like i'll be back uh-huh nothing and there's no payoff you hit you just get you just get xenophage he just sends xenophages which oh, and that's another dumb thing that i found he can send them through portals why can't he just he's in a prison that's why he needs the codex yeah 
Yeah, that's yeah, that but, was the whole thing. That's but it makes no sense. Thing. How can how can he open portals for them? Because fuck you, that's what's a movie. Oh, it makes sense. <laughs> that, that makes sense. That makes sense. No character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, why do the portals look like Doctor Strange's? You know, like rings. Oh, like he's, they don't. They don't. Oh, but okay. It's because oh, of Edge Four. Mm-hmm. Edge Four was doing it. That, oh, that, yeah, that's Baron Mortal connection. Uh, yeah, no, they don't. But okay. But still, I'd say it's just some of that stuff didn't make sense to me. <laughs> I was I, just, I, when I saw one of those portals in the background. I was like, well, he's gonna say on your left. He's gonna say on your left, right? You just have to turn off your mind and just it's it's just a, a, a for me it's just a kids action movie. That's what it is. Yeah. it's a it's another throwaway movie. Except for the one line where he says uh, the mf'er. Where uh, where Doctor Connor's yeah. screen says yeah, "mf'er." Hey, why why did he have an arm? I don't know. And why why was he playing uh, David Bowie? Scrap- What's his name? Scrappy? No, it's Scrappy. Scrappy. Yes, the uh... Ziggy. <laughs> no, Ziggy. What do we do? Shaggy. Oh, there Shag- you go. Oh, no, why? What? There was no dog. There's no inks. No, none of that. No, no none of that. Uh no, but I I uh yeah I think the intro just reminded me of a video game, but I liked the final act, the be- the middle part of the movie. Parts of it were okay. The yeah, but overall, I think it was a, it was a fine, it was enjoyable movie. I I had fun with parts of it. Um, but by the time I left the by the time I left the theater, it was forgettable. It's that's the thing. The movie was extremely forgettable. Yeah, but it wasn't a it, bad time. No, it was not a bad time. Compared to the, I, movie. the the first one is okay for me. I hate the second one, but yeah, this I, one was, I never. I actually, actually kind of enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed mm-hmm. this one. I enjoyed it. In. In, in, damn it! <laughs> on phonics work for me. <laughs> I was gonna go. Damn you! I Took enjoyed it. it. Uh, yeah. I was like, same. On, I would say. On. I would say this. I would say the same. Uh, it's one of those things. It's one of those weird movies that it's just dumb. It's dumb fun, mm-hmm. uh, parts of it, but it's not a horrible. Movie. It's weird to say that it's not the worst movie I've seen, and it's not the best movie, but it's it's a solid six and a half. Like I would say, it's a six point five. It's like right there. It's, oh, are we doing numbers now? Damn it! It's just it's just like right there. It's 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 weird. It's yeah. A, it's, it's it's very it's very middle of the road. A, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, but it's not like you're gonna sit there and be like, oh, can just just be done." There's parts of it that are very enjoyable that you'll like. People will it will, will like, and there's parts of it that then are well, like, "Okay, well, can see, you just what, just move on." But it moves what, it moves fast from those parts. That's the thing. watching it watching the movie. Parts. It kind of it made me feel like okay, so I don't think they ever had a uh, had a an actual idea of what to do with the Venom character going into the MCU or, or uh, Spider-Man stuff. So they said, uh, fuck it. We already filmed it. So let's start from here. So that's just, they just said, all right, throw your hands up in the air. We am like, you just don't care. You get to go and made this movie. And it was not a bad attempt to kind of fill into a, a missed opportunity of being in, uh, in Spider-Man movies. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If you go from the second one, which is garbage, and then go to this, it's yeah. like, oh, okay, it's an improvement. Mm-hmm. Well, the whole second so, move is just the whole second move just just to set up that whole like, oh crap, he's my beautiful Spider Man universe. Yeah, yeah, that was that's it. Was that's why I hated that movie. And and the Carnage character was a complete waste because uh, mm-hmm. you barely got any of it. Yeah, you get to enjoy him being crazy. Mm-hmm. You kind of it gave you like natural born killers, but light. Like it's not violent, and so it's just it was. You no, know, we're gonna be carnage. Like no, it's relax, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just it just didn't feel right. So that's why this one this one feels a little better. Uh, family member. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, someone gets around. It's just, it is it is a step up from the second one. Uh, it just it's it's in, it's enjoyable. But you guys, uh, comment down below. Did you guys watch? Uh, Venom, the 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 last dance. What did you did guys you take think? Your kids? Did you guys take your kids to this one? This was more of a kids movie. I right? this, is more, this is more I of a kids have. movie. This is this is they'll they'll enjoy it. Uh, sound off below. Let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this has been Vinny. Nazazi. Anna. We'll see you guys next time. Venom. Venom.